started thinking about performance art today when I woke up. And I started thinking about it as someone who went to art school. And then I think about how something that sometimes is substantive some of the time but most of the time performance art seems to be the kind of art that would baffle most everyday people and for that reason said everyday people take art even less seriously as an entire field and I just wonder, how is it that this happens? How is it that performance art can contribute to an entire field ultimately being invalidated? You have some performance artists, I won't name names that, their whole exhibition is staring at audience members and staying still or inviting their audience member to sit in a chair and they stare directly at them. And that's supposed to, that, that's, that's supposed to be equal to a sculpture or a painting or a poem or an article or a well-written essay. And I just go, again, as someone who went to art school, as someone who spent four years at a, at a collegiate institution for design and, and motion graphics, but I went to school with, you know, we're all 18 to 22, 23. So a lot of young people still figuring out their lives and themselves. However, a lot of them, not all of them, or a lot of people like me who didn't have a whole lot of resources or support, but there are also a whole lot of people, a community's worth of people who, through lineage and through resource, have access, and have opportunities, and have the ability to successfully fail. Now, why am I saying this? I'm saying this because a lot of kids that I went to art school with were not as blessed as me in being able to graduate. A lot of them got sick of their major. Um, by the way, not because of a lack of resources. A lot of people left because of lack of resources, but a lot of people just left because they didn't want to do it anymore. And I'm not, I'm not assuming this. I know this. Again, because I went to an art school. I know a lot of the kind of kids that did this. I'm saying that to say, or to pose the question, not all of performance art, but is performance art as perceived currently a result of art school kids knowing that they won't be challenged by everyday people? because they're intimidated by the arts. And it's it's simply art school kids that are bored or don't feel the need to work as hard. I don't know the answers to these questions. I, I, I don't. I, I share them with you to see if I can get answers, but I... And then I think even bigger than that, I go, is performance art as perceived currently a result of the arts as a field not being challenged? I'm not talking about artists or art being critiqued. It's a completely different thing, and it happens all the time in the arts, as it should. I'm talking about the arts as a field being challenged. And not for the sake of challenging, but for the sake of figuring out what it is that the arts contributes to all of society, to all of our species, because it, the arts does contribute. But how do you articulate that? How do you communicate that? And not to the ends of getting a round of applause or, or a pat on the back, but getting a round of applause and a pat on the back and an opportunity to contribute the same way a scientist is expected to contribute. 
the same way an entertainer is expected to contribute to society, to all of our lives. So because the arts isn't challenged, there are, there are participants in it that know that they can put any kind of bullshit in front of people who are already intimidated by the arts and again, not be questioned, not be challenged. And it just, as an artist, it makes me wonder, like, wow, you can you can be you can be a successful, globally renowned within the art world artist, performance artist, and all you gotta do is stare at audience members. All you gotta do is sit in a chair and stay still. All you gotta do is flip that chair over and put a piece of bubble gum on it, and then throw some throw some lilac on it or something. And then now it's the installation piece. Okay. To ease their own. These are just questions. But. I wonder what the art world would look like. With. Um, I wonder what the art lo world would look like. After being challenged. The same way. ESPN uh, 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 challenges sports. Hip hop challenges hip like all the other th like hip hop and sports are set up in a way where it challenges itself. ESPN is a platform where people can argue stats about individual players. You can argue about your team. You can challenge one's perspective on their fraction of the field hip-hop does it to itself all the time which rapper do you think is the best do, 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 do. and that's not to say you can't do that with the arts or with artists or with individual pieces of art but it is to say these entities have institutions or brands that are set up to host um challenges that are posed to to or about fractions of that field, sports or music, that are recognized at the same rate as an ESPN, that are of the same scale of it as an ESPN, that are that is patronized at the same rate as an ESPN. I'm not saying it doesn't exist in the arts. I'm saying it's not big enough, and no one knows who the fuck it is. Not the same way you know who Skip Bayless is, or Angie Martinez. And as a result, there's some artists that will wear the, t the, 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 the title of performance artist and at the end of the day, not contribute anything of substance to everyday people. Maybe contribute something of interest to people that are already citizens within the art world, but what about everyday people? My grandmother don't give a fuck about no performance artist. My grandmother doesn't even give a fuck about my art. And I paint. You expect her to leave the house, get on the E train, and go to downtown Manhattan to watch someone sitting at a chair staring at her. Just some thoughts.